Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about this Chrome extension which is called Brisk and I've heard really good reviews so I'm going to be just exploring this and having a look at some of the functionalities with you, just a quick tour, not really a how to use but just a quick tour. So if you go on to briskteaching.com, it's an AI tool and if I scroll down you can see there's an um, AI presentation maker, an AI quiz maker, targeted feedback generator, which I'm really interested in because I actually do give assignments and I do like to give a lot of targeted feedback based on the rubric. And then if I scroll down, I've got create instructional materials in seconds, AI lesson plan generator, the depth of knowledge questions, AI rubric generator. So we're going to try some of these in a minute. Uh, the quiz maker I'm not so keen on because, you know, we want to kind of move away from quizzes one and done and quantitative collecting evidence of student learning. We want to look at qualitative evidence of student learning, um, teacher exemplars, something else. And then there's all sorts of stuff. UDL lesson plan. I like that. And then also there's a whole section on instantly manage administrative tasks. So emails, newsletter, uh, lecture of recommendation, observation notes. So it's all very much geared towards teachers. Okay, so I've already downloaded this Chrome extension and I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller so that I actually move myself out of the way. And I'm going to just press one of their exemplars to try. Uh, I'm going to try the targeted feedback generator. So when you click on this, what happens is you are forced to make a copy of The Great Gatsby and I'm just going to never go over there now. Okay, I've just had to re-record this so that's why I'm wearing a different outfit but I still wanted to just quickly show you some of the functionalities of Brisk and so let's just navigate. I've already added the Chrome extension and I don't know whether the screen on Zoom this time is showing you the Chrome extension that I have, this little black icon. So hopefully that is there. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the tools here. And uh, this is the page where you've got all the different mm -hmm. functionalities. So I'm gonna navigate to the tools for teachers and these are all the functionalities. So let's try again. This is the third time I've recorded this. So I'm going to go to, it was giving targeted feedback. Now, where is that? There it is, I'm gonna try it. And it forces you to make a copy of The Great Gatsby. Okay, so I'm hoping that this is recording at this moment. And then you see this little black icon. I'm going to click on that. And that is the Brisk AI tool. So Brisk, you can see I've got give feedback. I'm going to press on feedback. And let's just have a look at the glow and grow here. Area of strength, growth and probing questions. And I'm just going to look at their suggestion grammar. So let's Brisk it. And you'll see this is an example of some targeted feedback for this particular essay based on glow and grow, and we can copy it easily, we can edit it. I always suggest that you ensure that you edit it because we need to always have human in the loop and human input, and then there's a wondering. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's navigate back to the title page and let's have a look at, and let's have a look at the lesson generator. Okay, so I'm gonna just press this now. And here I've got my little library, my toolbox here. I hope you can see that. And I'm not really into the quizzes, as I said before. We, we kind of want to move away from just giving students quizzes, but look at collecting qualitative data of evidence of student learning. But let's go to lesson plan. OK, I'm going to press lesson plan. It's in English. Let's just say fractions for now, sixth grade, and then I'm going to brisk it. And let's just see the suggestions that it comes up with. Gives me the Common Core Standards, materials needed, and then it's giving me some suggestions of little learning experiences. Now, I always say you must edit this, have a look at it. We want to still adopt really effective pedagogical strategies, so we don't want to just continue to lecture and use traditional approaches. So take a look at what you can use, what you can't use, heavily edit this. It's in a Google Doc, so we can. 
Now, I want to stress that I'm not sponsored by Brisk, but so many teachers have told me it's just a really quick, easy tool as a Chrome extension to give feedback or to design a lesson or to even create a rubric. So specifically designed for teachers and it looks quite nice. So give it a go and then uh, please feel free to put a comment in the section below and let me know how you find it. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.